In this video, we explore how sound is represented in computer systems. Sound is a vibration that propagates as an audible wave of pressure through the air. In human physiology, sound is the reception of these waves and their perception by the brain. The sound waves are generated by a sound source, such as the vibrating diaphragm of a speaker and detected by a microphone or the human ear. We can visualize sound as an analog wave and to store the sound in binary, we need to convert what is an analog signal into a digital binary one. This process is called analog to digital conversion. So before we have a look in detail, let's consider what actually affects the quality of a digitally converted sound wave. Well, there are two main factors. There's the sample rate and the sample resolution. The sample rate is how often an audio analog sound wave is sampled. The sample resolution is at each of those sampling rates, what is the level of detail, depth or fidelity that that audio analog wave was recorded at? As either of these or both of these factors increase, the quality of the overall sound wave converted into a digital form increases and gets better. But obviously the size of the sound file, for example, also increases. The whole sound is known as a sound sample and it's converted to binary by taking a measurement of the wave at regular intervals. Those regular intervals represented by the gray vertical lines happen many times a second and are known as the sample rate, which we measure in Hertz. For example, a music CD is sampled at 44,100 hertz. That's 44,100 times a second. The greater the number of samples per second, the higher the quality the sound will be, but also the larger the file size as we're storing more data per second. So sample resolution represents how many different gradations of amplitude can be represented in a digital waveform. In other words, the amount of information we store with each sample. Now we measure this in bits, so you could have a sample resolution of say eight bits. A typical CD uses a 16 bit sample resolution. And that means that every time it takes a sample of the analog waveform, it's taking up and storing in two bytes. But each of those can store one of 65,000 different amplitudes. So on our diagram on the left, we can see our original analog waveform represented by the gray line. And we have a two bit sample resolution. Now, if we're only using two bits, the maximum variations in the difference of sound we can sample is obviously only four, storing these as 0, 1, 2 or 3. So you can see we get quite a rough digital interpretation of the original analog sound. If we doubled this sample resolution to four bits, well, with a combination of four bits, we can have up to 16 combinations represented on the left axis by 0 to 15. So yes, we've doubled the amount of information we're storing with each sample, but the accuracy of our digital waveform compared to the original analog one is much better. You also need to be able to, in the exam, figure out or calculate the file size of a sound sample. And this is done by the formula, the number of samples per second, so the sample rate, times by the number of bits per sample, the sample resolution, times by the length of the sample in seconds. So if we take the example of the graph shown on the left, we have a sample rate of six, six hertz. This analog waveform is being recorded or captured six times a second. We have a duration of three seconds. The sound file is three seconds long. And we have a sample resolution of four bits. In other words, 
every time we're sampling the sound, it's storing four bits of information. Six times three times four is 72 bits. If we divide that by eight, we have nine bytes. So let's just recap what we've learnt. Sound file size is the total number of bits in a sound, and it's calculated as the number of samples per second times by the number of bits per sample times by the length of the sample in seconds. Sample resolution refers to the number of bits stored with each sample. The higher the number of bits, the greater the quality of the sound, but the larger the file size. And the second factor is sample rate, and that's the number of samples we record or store per second measured in hertz. Again, the higher number of samples per second, the higher the quality of the sound, but again, the larger the overall file size. Thank you.